what's going on everybody so it has been well about like 12 to 13 14 hours since i last recorded so since that video where i got all the first raid currency and now i've made a few purchases in the shop and a lot of you have been asking about kind of my daily grind what i've been doing every day and just to look at some galactic war battles so i figured you know what let's just do that today let's go a little bit more casual today no specific plans necessarily but honestly this is one of the biggest updates i had for you all just because you can actually see the immense amount of progression that i've been able to do in just like 13 14 hours because of our raid income now this has been an absolute game changer 100 this is something that uh if you're looking to kind of boost your free to play progression um, the best way to do it is just to get into a strong guild and have them kind of carry you through obviously the stronger the better um i don't really know how my guild compares on the strength scale but i do know that they're doing some high level raids it's giving me a bunch of free currency that's really good so <laughs> um a lot of you have put in some input about some of the currencies as well which i'll go over in just a second but as for what i've been spending my currency on over the last well 16 hours we've had about I think three or four refreshes i've unlocked colonel stark already he's already unlocked i'm already just about 30 shards into his next star level which is kind of crazy dengar has been unlocked um i've been buying him every day and i've also been buying uh sun fact looks like it's been three refreshes so far or three total purchases of each of these guys now four um because i'm at 40 of 50 for sun facts so i've been picking up those three as i had planned and well, Dengar and Colonel Stark, these are like the go-to ones because these are the ones that, well, Dengar's not really available anywhere else. Colonel Stark, this is a super easy way to acquire him and I would be using him immediately. I do want to go for Sunfact because of the Geonosians. And as I mentioned, and a lot of you mentioned, more for Mark 1 currency, kind of just picking up all the shards you can, especially in a situation like this where I have a bunch of access to them. Um, for the Mark 2, we are going to be probably uh oh also for the mark one currency han solo general kenobi and darth treya are going to be top priorities for sure uh mark two currency well again i've had a lot of people talk about hermit yoda and a lot of people talk about Yo uh wampa so that one's kind of up in the air and mark three currency a lot of you talked about relic materials and so i'm just going to hold on to the mark three currency for now and if we get to a point where we cannot spend it or maybe we just like have a, a surplus and there's one way to spend it but it's not necessarily like the best way i will be doing so because we were going to cap out eventually uh, outside of that well kind of standard stuff going on i mean nothing else too crazy besides you know the most crazy thing that could possibly happen in the you know guild activity store but since we do have Colonel Stark unlocked, I have leveled him up, but I have not put any gear on him. So let's go ahead and do that real quick because I, well, do want to pick up some gear or uh, gear levels for my Colonel Stark here. And there are a lot of varying different, you know, pieces of gear that I'm in need of, especially when it comes to purple gear specifically. I try not to farm anything that's included in the gear challenges just to preserve as much energy as I can. When we're this close, uh, I like to do just a couple battles, maybe get, well, there's a player level up, check that out. Um, uh, just a couple of them, maybe to get me finished off of the gear tier. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, and we can go hopefully up to gear six. Awesome. So that puts all of my Imperial troopers that I do have at gear six. And that means that I should be pretty much set uh, in terms of being able to use this squad for anything that I need to get done. Um, I've been mainly using the Phoenix squad, to be honest, because, well, they're just a little bit stronger with Captain Rex and me not having a fifth member. But I will definitely enjoy using the Stark here and all the Imperial Troopers. Outside of that, well because we just got a level up that means we have a ton of additional energy i figured i'd pop on over oh we got a new event what did we unlock oh it's the mace windu fleet i believe it is so we're going to be doing that shortly get access to some clone sergeant shards i will be getting akbar eventually but these are slow going i believe you kind of get all of them by the time you reach level 60 which is when you get the fleet um access to which is going to be pretty fun but in terms of mod battles we are still trying to progress, uh, but I'm kind of stuck, as I mentioned last video. Um, 
on or we were stuck on 6c as you can see uh and we were able to kind of beat it two stars uh so that's kind of cool but i haven't been able to beat 6g ray is kind of strong our first gear 12 character here um it's kind of brutal um and i do have to use if i wanted to keep progressing some of the higher level assists that i have um right as of lately i've been trying to use some of the lower level ones but it's kind of just a brick wall unless i wanted to use the higher level assist so i might just start doing that but i wanted to let you all know that i would be using that then we have the galactic war and cantina which i gotta wrap up uh today mm, we also have a bunch of energy to use so may as well just use our cantina energy real quick i've been dumping it all into moff gideon uh, ooh, pretty brutal there only two shards today that's fine that's fine <laughs> uh i have been farming some hard nodes so the tie bomber has recently been unlocked here let me just pop back over because i haven't finished off with captain rex it looks like uh, but i have been picking up mandalorian shards uh, because i have so much energy and i don't really want to be spending it on the gear challenge uh or, or the gear that can be earned from gear challenge so i fear to just use it in a hard node since i have quite a bit of energy between the web store and every single claim that i have but i am forming the tie bomber this is something that's non-negotiable if i want to get my executor as quick as possible that means i got to farm tie bomber immediately so that's been on farm and i'm also farming cara dune because she is also part of that best guard mando unlock so pretty simplistic there uh, and that kind of wraps up my energy for now until i get a bunch more and then i'll have to farm some random piece of gear or whatnot uh, that i can use on my characters as for galactic war let's just pop in do a couple battles here i haven't done my galactic war for today it's honestly pretty easy this is kind of what galactic war just looks like when you're in a place where you have a lot of the characters built out that you want to be building out if you've been re remaining focused you you should be able to just auto your way through the whole thing uh, especially with the phoenix squad i will say if you are struggling a little bit and you are going to be using the phoenix squad one nice little thing to do is to potentially swap out sabine for zeb um even if he's like lower gear like all my characters here are gear six halfway through into gear seven um and they all have their abilities upgraded they have higher levels but if i were just slot in zeb where sabine is you're not gonna have as much dps but honestly because the team is reasonably well geared at this point in the game their base damage is enough to outpace any sort of supporting skills that your opponents will have for the most part unless you fight another phoenix squad which uh, can get a little bit tricky sometimes um but that being said with zeb you're able to get that protection protection regeneration and just overall extra tankiness because of that and that allows your whole team to really stay alive and not worry about any of them dying because that's the biggest thing is if one of your characters dies specifically in the phoenix squad it's way worse if like chopper dies because he puts up the taunt and then you lose the passive healing and protection gain when you get hit on your team it really hinders your your progress and, and hinders your strength of the team because they're sharing all their uniques it not only just loses you a member that's going to do damage and maybe provide some extra tankiness but you're losing uniques for your entire squad so you just want to make sure that you're not losing anyone as you go through pretty standard stuff but especially for the phoenix squad and again if you have captain rex as long as you're leveling up his unique you're going to probably stay ahead of any other team that you're going to be fighting um he is just an absolute beast in terms of how much he provides for this squad mass amount of crit that's going to help Kanan land his offense downs uh as well as Sabine dish out damage as well as Rex healing people as well as much of max HP for your whole squad allowing Chopper's unique to kind of heal you passively on every turn start as well as Kanan's unique to give you that healing whenever you're debuff so overall just a very very powerful squad with Captain Rex in the picture and just allows you to kind of cruise through uh galactic war nowadays and uh you know i'm sure not everyone wants to watch the whole thing but i figured i'd do a couple battles and maybe i'll skip ahead so you guys can see the end of it and i'll pop back in since some people were asking for it so here we are and once again we made it all the way to the end and you know we could do some fun stuff like drop in our imperial troopers for a change uh which you know what let's just go ahead and do it uh, i actually don't really use my imperial troopers all that often but with the addition of colonel stark why not let's run them in let's just use the four of them 
let's just use the four of them let's see what we can do here dark trooper is the carry of these early game trooper and to be honest just trooper squads in general um but you do have to make sure you're basicing with this guy uh wow <laughs> well there you go uh that's exactly what i was talking about let's reset some turn meter here get some assists going um and that should give us another hit with the dark trooper i mean manualing this i will say is way better than trying to auto it and the main reason is we just end up actually using the basic of the um dark trooper which is the reason why he's so strong um this guy's just absolutely annihilated <laughs> uh yeah so if you wanted to manual it dark trooper the imperial troopers really crush uh, if you wanted to auto it and kind of cruise along well as per usual the phoenix squad crush and i used the phoenix squad all the way through up until that last battle just because i wanted to have some fun and well we did we had a lot of fun there <laughs> dark trooper is so satisfying to you so that's kind of what my daily grind has been looking like let's go ahead and claim some free energy um and i've just been going through the motions as i get a bunch of currency now with the guild activity i am definitely going to be accelerating my progression and we're going to try to just keep on going as far as i possibly can honestly the next big goal now that we have the raids on lockdown is the ships uh and i want to be able to make sure that i have all the ships that i would be interested in using ready to go but the ships that i kind of want to unlock oftentimes are in the galactic war or the fleet arena which i do not have yet so i've been saving galactic war currency i can be spending it because i'll have so much currency by the time that uh the ships go you know or uh, by the time i hit level 60 that i could have probably purchased someone i was thinking about cad bane but maybe it's just poggle maybe it's wedge maybe it's magma trooper something like that i'm not sure maybe it's biggs because i'll have his starfighter uh, I honestly don't know, but I have so many different options and I'm not really in a rush. I could just stack up some more currency and then figure out a decision later uh, because you could spend this very, very quickly. As long as you're using it every single day, you're going to be able to use it, especially for the ships that come. So that's kind of where we're at, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. As per usual, love hearing your feedback. Love everyone that's getting involved and I'll see you all for the next one.